Hi there. I'm going to try to be succinct for once. So this is a, in response to a couple of questions people have asked me about a problem on page 85 that shows what can happen, what bad things can happen when you get an interaction between environments and especially lazy evaluation. And in particular, how you can use the command force if you think there could be a problem due to lazy evaluation. And this comes up with functions that create functions. So let's look at one. And this is pretty much the one from page 85 of the text. I'm going to say in detail what this is for. So let's suppose I occasionally want a function to use a lot that, say, adds 8 to things. So, don't ask me why, please. Okay. So I want a function that, for instance, one day I want to add 8 to a bunch of things. Another day, let's say I want to add 4 to a bunch of things. So I might want a function that just adds 8 to stuff. And on another day, I might want a function that adds just 4 to stuff. Okay. So what I could do is make a function that creates functions. This really does have a use in more elaborate situations. But So what I'm going to do is... Oop, not X. There's X. I want to make a function that... If I put x in it, it'll output a function that adds x to things. And the second function is anonymous right there. And it's going to add x plus y. So again, this is a function whose, remember, the last line inside a function is what's output. So when I call add and give it a number, it's going to create a function that adds that number to things and output it. So it actually works. So I can make a, a incredibly useful ham ham <laughs> function called add eight by just going, hey, I can add eight to things. Look at. Oop. Oh, not add. Sorry. I wanted the add eight. There we go. Look, it adds eight to stuff. Oh boy. Or I could make some add 12. Okay. This thing creates a function that adds 12 to things. It's going to call it add 12. So let me see. Does it really work? Wow, it adds 12 to things. Okay. Then I start to get too clever for my own good. I go, okay, I just don't want to do this once. I want to create a couple of functions that add numbers to things. So I go list of functions. I'll use the old friend lapply and apply the numbers 1 and 2 and I'm gonna use the function add. So what I'm hoping is it'll do this. It'll take x equals 1 because x is the argument of add. x equals 1 it'll plug 1 in here and produce a function. It'll be a list of functions. So the first function in my list will add 1 to things. Then I'll go here and take 2 and then the first function, the second function, will add two to things. Okay. And this is a list. Look at it. And it actually is a list of functions. If I look and say, hmm, what is each item in there? Yep. The first thing's a function. Second thing is a function. So far, so good. So, this was created when x is 1. <laughs> this created when x is 2, I would sincerely hope, because that's what the L apply seem to do. So this should add 1 to things, this should add 2 to things. Well, let's check the second one. My gosh, it adds two to things. I'm happy. The second one does add two to things. And really, lazy evaluation is a great thing because you don't have to do perhaps really expensive computations or ones that can even cause errors if they're not needed. However, look at what function one did. It added two to everything. I am completely flummoxed. So I go up here and go, wait, 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 wait. L apply should do 1 and 2. Step through, x equals 1, x equals 2. It should create a function where x is 1. Create a function where x is 2. What went wrong? Okay, I'll tell you what went wrong. 
let's look up here in this function. So remember, functions drag around their um, enclosing environment. So these two functions I created have enclosing environments. And they have an x in there. And what is the value of that x? Well, you would think it's going to equal 1, and that's going to equal 2, right? Right? Because that's what they all apply. x is 1, and then it tries x equals 2. should do that. But here's the problem. Because of lazy evaluation, the functions, these two functions I created, don't bother to look at what x is until they need it. Remember, they don't, they don't have to do any calculation until I actually call them. They don't have a y, they don't have an x, so they just sit there. So by the time I call them, L apply has already run a long time ago, and the in the enclosing environment of those two functions, x has reached two. Remember, it stepped through it. Said x equals one, x equals two. Neither of these functions have attempted. You know, they are actually promises inside that list. They haven't actually been created into real bona fide functions because they haven't needed to get the value x. It's only way back down here when I actually use them. It goes, oh, I need x. It goes up in the enclosing environment, but in the enclosing environment, I've already stepped all the way through this L apply. It doesn't remember that I started with 1. It has the value x equals 2. So it plugs the value x equals 2 into each of them. Again, this is because in the, these both have the same enclosing environments or actually evaluation of the environment. Well, these both have x in their enclosing environment, but, they, but that hasn't been evaluated until such time as I need it later and call these functions, and then by that time it's too late, x has reached 2. So how can I stop this from happening? Very simple. When I do add, so anytime you think that you're getting strange behavior because things aren't being evaluated as you're stepping through them. Oops. The cure to that is oops, is to use the command force. And that forces x to be evaluated. So later when I step through it, every time I give an x to this thing and it creates a function, it's going to immediately evaluate x instead of waiting till later to evaluate x. And then x is actually going to have a value. Same, I'm saying actually a lot, aren't I? In the enclosing... Um, yep, then x will be equal to 1 in the enclosing environment of the first function and x will be equal to 2 in the enclosing environment of the second one because they've been evaluated. So let's see what happens when we do this. Mm-hmm. There's a list of functions, my two functions. But in this one, x has been, in the enclosing environment of this one, x has been set to 1. I don't see it there. x has been set to 2 in this one. So let's try it. Ah, that one properly now adds 1 to things. Whereas the second function now properly adds 2 to all sorts of things. So that's it. That's going through in tedious detail that page 85 example in the book. Um, see you in the next movie.